Hello everybody! Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis and Juanathan. Uh, today, behind the scenes, off camera, I did run a couple of errands. I put all my stuff away, and I uh, upgraded some equipment that was dearly lacking. So I upgraded my bow back to epic. I got the, the penis poker back up to epic, and it does 72 damage now, which is... Way more than the Grave Digger. The Grave Digger requires Daedra Hearts in order to <laughs> repair it. So that's uh, that sucks. But this is just as good. So <laughs> whatever. And then I also upgraded my uh, armor to epic and my moon shoes to epic. So now I'm a, I have a lot more, a lot more armor there. I dropped off some books to Latoria, and she gave me two spell tomes. Uh, this one. We got Enfeeble. Target can't recover stamina and has 20% chance to drop their weapon or shield with each use for 42 seconds. And then we got Finger of Death. Blast of Death magic that damages a living target equal to its health but the caster takes 125% of that damage. If this would kill the caster, the damage is reduced. Wow, like, <laughs> I had no idea that was even in the game. And then also we got this Shield of Daybreak last episode, I believe. For 60 seconds, caster can blocks 12% better and recovers 10% or 10 points of stamina on a successful block, which is pretty cool. But I don't think I'm ever going to use it, but I'll read it anyway. Healing hands we got, but I forgot to throw it in the, the cell pile. But as far as plans for today, um, we are going to go do the, I think it's the Birds of a Feather quest. We're going to go right here to help that girl become a harpy or whatever the hell they're called. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I had these uh, report the vampire ones, but they're out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm probably going to have to travel to Dawnstar to go down there and get those. But I thought we'd decide something, something a little shorter right off the bat. So let's get on it. I just fast traveled to the, uh, what is it called? The bird's eye. Just to get a little little bit of a head start off camera. Lost Echo Cave. Cool. We got a homestead, it looks like, here. Oh. Hello, sir. Welcome, traveler. It's been a long time since we've had an adventurer come through. Oh, you're the family I have to kill. Surely you want to come and to fucking you. of course. Hello, sir. Ah, uh, sirs. I am terrified. <laughs> Why the fuck is this happening? <laughs> no, dude. Oh, shit. I changed it to, uh... Let me change the... Bow back to four. Oops. That <laughs> was it supposed to happen? Didn't realize I had my phone ringer on. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Epic. Awesome. All right. Sirs. I do not think that does a lot of damage to him. Well. Oh, come on, dude. Okay, he's dead. Got one down. I'm almost dead too, gotta heal up. Holy asshole. Ooh, 
baby. Well, that was quite the start to an episode. Sometimes I think this game really does hate me. Jesus Christ. I better level up killing two fucking dragons. God damn. Who the hell is that? I'll show you what a real orc can do. Bitch, what the fuck? Why? One down. Yeah, get him. Oh, there's a third. Well, fuck. Oh, okay, he's... It looks like he's a good NPC. Like, a important one. I was gonna be so mad if those bandits fucking killed me. Let me save my goddamn game. Holy hell. What a start. Okay, sir. What were you saying? Welcome, traveler. It's been a long time since we've had an adventurer come through these parts. Surely you'll want to come in and rest your weary feet. Thank you, sir. I am tired and in need of rest. My feet are never weary. Look at me. I'm a specimen. I'll come in and oh, take a rest. Don't thank me. My wife and I enjoyed the company. My little one even more so. Say, you've got a nice set of earlobes on you. Where I come Excuse from, me? Good luck. And good luck is contagious. You must stay the night. Really, Papa? What about his toes? Are they big too? You said toes bring the best luck. I don't know, child. I won't know until he takes off his shoes. But my money's on you, little giant. You and your mother were blessed with very large feet. Really? You mean it, Papa? Yeah, okay, these people oh, are creepy as fuck. Darling. Now go tell your mother we have a guest. Okay. And remind her to sprinkle salt on the floorboards by the entrance. The home has to be purified before a guest steps inside. In any case, judging by the smell, it looks like we're having stew. I hope you like Charles. Okay. What the hell was I supposed to do here again? <laughs> Look at my journal, birds of a feather, optional. Huh. Find a way to harvest the family's organs? Oh no. Or I can just ha have a human heart, giant's toe, and charred skeever. Well. 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 Well, 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 well. Here we go. Hope you got a nice bath. So I can't just up kill them, right? So you must be the visitor Rennie told me about. Let me get a good look at you. Oh, I like the shape of your nose. I had a dream about a Falmer one, and he had the exact same one. That Falmer in my dream was very old. But what? Good skin. I'm an Argonian, dude. Well. <laughs> what are you looking at? But excuse my manners. My name's Bet. The little one's Renny, and you've met my husband, Frodmar. Frodmar. <laughs> Any help cooking? I understand we're having char stewed. How did you obtain such a rare meat? My husband does like to exaggerate. Most adventurers can't tell the difference between charus and chickens. Last time it was dolphin pie. But if you look close, you'll see the flint of silver he keeps under his tongue. But for being a good sport, why don't you have a quick taste? Chickens or chores, I'm sure you'll like it. When you're done, go on and grab a seat at the head of the table. Boys in the snoo with nightshade. Anywhere else. Damn, little girl, you got a fucking axe and you're... Oh, you're actually huge. Oh, you're actually a giant. That's how I need your toe. Okay. Well. Is the meal ready yet, my love? The more I work, the hungrier I get. And it's been a long week. 
Did you place the elf's ear in the boot like I told you? I've been doing that. And chewing on them as well. What Plus, the I put fuck? one of those purple flowers under the cooking pot in the bed. Oh, love. Purple? You didn't leave nightshade under the pot again, did you? I told you, it goes under the pillow. <laughs> oh, silly me. How's that rhyme go again? When you're feeling blue, the color's true. When you're feeling high, use shades of night. What would I ever do without my Rennie? Do you have any children, Traveler? No. I've adopted a child. I had a child. Raising them is another matter entirely. I don't have any children at the moment. Children are disgusting little creatures. No offense to you, you big bitch. Nah. Um, I don't have any kids. Well, you're still young. You have time yet. Some people are in such a rush, though. They try raising children that aren't their own. A disgusting practice. This whole notion of adoption. Oh, Fradmar, you're going to scare Yeah? Us. He knows what is and what isn't a sin. You're right. I apologize for making things so dour. My, that smells delicious. Oh, no, you don't. Guess <laughs> eats first. Okay. But not before we have a little conversation to whet our appetites. So is it true what they say? Have the dragons returned? Were you not outside two seconds ago? Are you living under a rock in here? Uh, it's all a hoax. There's no dragons, just pigs with wings. <laughs> I killed two of them outside. Uh, they have, but a dragon board has yet has come to vanish them, vanquish them. Uh, yeah, Helgen was Such destroyed. A shame. But this is what happens when people forget the old ways. Every home should keep a dead bird over the mantle to ward off flying creatures. It's not just for crows. Even feathers will do. Ah, southerners with their troubles. Dragon schmagons. It's what they get for living in such hot weather. <laughs> Mama, can I show the nice man my bug collection? After you finish your stew. Don't let the girl have her fun. We can put the stew back in the pot for now. Let it warm up some more. Yay! It's really impressive. I Fuck. keep it on the table over there Eat next it. to reindeer skull. Fuck! He keeps an eye on it for me. Your brother always did enjoy playing with bugs, eating them too. Not anymore, Papa. Don't judge me, one of them. I don't like these people. Ah, that's They're right. weird. Poor Rainy was scared. Reindeer skull would eat her collection, so I had the lower jaw removed. Children have such wild imaginations. In any case. We have the jaw in a drawer for safekeeping. That's a bit strange, keeping your son's skull. How did your boy die? Why not bury your boy? I think I've lost my appetite. I think I've lost my appetite. <laughs> Never seen a skull before? You must be from the city. Here, family stays with family, even after death. Of course, Thradmar wanted to have Rengir stuffed. But thankfully, the wolves didn't leave much save the bones. Aye, that would have been in poor taste. We don't want to honor a child so foolhardy. Still, Jesus Christ. Our boy. And hopefully the gods won't mind us keeping his skull as a memento. Here you go again, husband, making things awkward for our guests. Can we just enjoy this nice meal I've cooked for all of you? You're right, love. This is a joyous occasion. Our first visitor in, what is it? Months? Yes, the last one didn't stay for very long. I warned you about her. She had a mole on her cheek that was clearly a daedric mark of some kind. Not that you could spot it the way you've been lately. Have you been putting the sheep's blood in your eyes every morning like I told you? Why is she going outside? Shape two seasons ago as a sacrifice for the gods. Oh, right. What about this season? Did you remember to leave the sacrifices by the altar? Honey, I thought you were taking care of it. Damn! We can't! We can't! Okay. That is big toe. His liver. And I need the girl's heart. Don't I? 
What the hell? Where did she go? There she is. <laughs> and a heart. Well, let's, uh... Let's, uh... <laughs> let's hide this, shall we? The, uh, the dragon did it. Oh, I guess the dragon's gone. Now I'm just kind of flopping this body all around. Oh well. The world may never know. I'll just head back to the bird's eye. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos. I don't know if that's what's supposed to go differently, but... I thought they were going to turn out to be like cannibals or something. Nope, just superstitious as fuck. Well... Excuse me, this lady. Is she even here? I already went through all this. Still no. Is she at the top? She is. I brought the ingredients for the I ritual. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I mean, I was starting to doubt you just a little, but then I told myself, have faith, Misha, have faith, and it worked. I have the whole ritual prepared, right this way. Watch your step. <laughs> Got a little carried away with the blood. You don't want to slip and fall from here. Wow, this woman had huge feet. And do you know what they say about women with huge feet? I don't either. Big dicks. Anyways, in you go. Okay, what comes next? Do I slaughter another goat? I suppose another goat wouldn't hurt. Can you do me a favor and grab a goat hide from the crate? Then toss it into the cauldron. Or was it a hawk beak first? Then a goat? I know the feathers are last, but what comes before that? Oh damn it, Misha. Why can't you remember? Oh. It said three goat hides, but there's only two in the bucket. Hold on, what do I do here? Uh, let me go to J Journal. No. The light. There we go. Toss three ingredients into the cauldron. Just says three ingredients. the crone you did it at least it sure seems like you did the way that cauldron's bubbling there's only one way to find out are you sure you that want to do this kind of scary but do you know what's even scarier not doing it but yeah just in case let me give you your reward now it's the spell tome that peddler gave me travis doesn't fight but he does draw attention you know how it is. Pretty much everyone attacks the Dramora first. Thanks, I guess. Wait, you don't like your gift? Damn it, I knew I should have went with a sack of gold. But people say that's so lazy. Either way, I guess it doesn't matter now. In about a minute, I'm going to be too powerful to care about anyone but myself. Okay. Summon Dravos. And it starts raining perfectly. I call upon the crone of old to boil the phantom of bubble cold. The swirls of guts and liver chopped. Cook the first in this blackened pot. of nude in flux of crow boil the broth with the second stoves belay of snake and magic's dark drain the life of this child's heart round about the cauldron stirs 
From mortal skin to withered bird, from these four lives it drinks the stew, from which to hag be born anew. I'm guessing I didn't do it properly. Put you in the stew? No? Okay, join your brethren. Goodbye. Well, that was weird. I think I fucked that up in some way, but... I probably shouldn't have put two... Because I thought it said put three goat hides in, but there was only two goat hides, so I went with something else, and it still kind of hope kind of worked. I don't know if that's how that was supposed to go, but anyway, I think now is the time to travel to Dawnstar and then try making our way south here. So I am going to go to the stables in Whiterun and we'll see what I need to do from there. So it says there was a Khajiit stable here, or caravan. I don't think that's a caravan that fast travels. I think it's just a... And yet I long for the warm sands of elsewhere more and more each day. I feel the same. I do not think Khajiit were made for the cold. Not only that, but these Nords have no love for us. They look upon us and see only thieves and smugglers. It is a pity, but it cannot be helped. Perhaps if we continue to show that we can be trusted, they will open their cities to our caravans. <laughs> I wish that I had your optimism. Need something? Huh. May okay. Well, oh, I... Guess it's like a other thing. I was looking for this. The uh, travel guy. Hmm? Need to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Uh Going straight through or did you want to stop? Okay. Along the way? Here it is, Dawnstar. Climbing back and we'll be off. It was under the pail. I hate that menu. I should really just go to every single one of those places just to have them unlocked. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. All right. Dawnstar. I have never been here before. And it's... <laughs> it's keeping it out of... Uh, Keeping the veil over my eyes here. Let's go to this. Um, we'll go to the report the vampire. And afterwards, we will be looking at Dawnstar. I've never been to Dawnstar. I've never, never played the DLCs for Skyrim. Because Skyrim, I basically played it when it came out. I played it for like a month. And then I was kind of done with it and threw it aside. And every fucking year it's been coming out, I've just been like, ugh. Ugh. But now that I've actually got a decent computer that can handle these mods, I quite like it. <laughs> the community has really stepped this game up into a whole other level. Oh, I broke my animations. Hell yeah. Is this where we need to go? Huh. Seems to be the spot. All of the vigilant discovered. Well, this isn't good. What the fuck is that? Death Hound? That's sick.
Master Vampire. The Falmer study. I'll take these books. Hell yes. Okay. Damn, okay, this... Someone just fucked this up. Seriously. Interesting. Huh. They had a lot of cure disease potions. Oh, I guess these are the vigilant guys. Anything here? Just 12 bucks? Okay. Well. I miss this guy coming in. What do I have to do here? It says report the vampire's death to a vigilant of Stendar. But, uh... They all kind of dead, bro. Oh, what is that? Letters. Aha. Unholy vigil. Investigate further. Okay, so that's basically what I have to do. So, wherever this inn is... Let's take that off real quick. Uh, M. Ah, okay, it's inside Dawnstar. Okay, interesting. Now, let's see. Oh, it looks to be right here. Okay, easy enough. I will uh, wait out this uh, blizzard in a bit. I've got to get out of this town. Irgnir, get a hold of yourself. They're just dreams. Please tell her, Erandur. Listen to your friend, Fuki. They are just dreams, my dear. I assure you that it is quite normal. It's the same dream over and over again. You think that's normal? It's evil, I tell you. Erandur, she has a point. You keep telling us no harm will follow these dreams, but they must be an omen. Give him a chance to speak. He's trying to help us. Everyone, please. I'm doing what I can to end these nightmares. In the meantime, all I ask is you remain strong and put your trust in Lady Mara. I, I will. Thank you. Go on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Are you the one I'm looking what for? Troubles you, my son? May I receive a simple blessing, Amara? What's wrong with everyone around here? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, but I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. What could you do anyway? Dreams aren't real. Don't be ridiculous. Dreams are harmless. Then leave. This isn't your problem. Uh, what do you mean? These dreams are manifestations. Created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares. Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. What's your plan? I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcrawler Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. What do you mean, return? You've been there? I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I'm sure she would want I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. I'm sorry. I trust you. How can I help? Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Good morning. Oh. I promised. Is he following me now? Follow me. 
No, I'm following him. Um. Ah, there's the dude. Oh, well, the note from the dude. Vig investigate the wild Windward Ruins. Holy shit, say that nine times fast. Wanathan? Thank you, Wanathan. Okay. So, let us wait out this storm. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Dawnstar. Oh, it's a port town. Oh, look, it's got some... It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Quite a few buildings here. What is your... Are you the... So tired. Uh, can you upgrade my equipment? All right, then. Look at my weapons here. Is she... No. And then she can't do this. Has sufficient skill. Okay, that's... Basically, the, all the blacksmith can only do it up to epic, I'm assuming. And if you want it gone even further, you have to do it yourself, which takes a lot of training. So. Oh, fuck. Hello. I appreciate it. Okay, so where are these two things? So there's one over there. There's still that one over there. Where is the... Oh, Waking Nightmare. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay, well, we can investigate these ruins real quick. And that'll probably be our time by then. So here's this. Hello? Ah, oh, there's another dead one, damn it. Oh, look, but he's got armor for us. Okay, so now what? We go to journal. Ah, we read his journal. Let's go books. His journal. Now we check for suspects, suspects pockets for suspicious items. Or trail those people at night. Find the cult of Daedra worshippers. Interesting. So that's like a... Cool investigation. Wasn't there other things that I picked up? I don't need these books. Oh, yeah, this one. Uh, summon Darvos. Summon Darvos. Oh, was that the... I bet that's the freaking guy that doesn't help. Let me try that real quick. Conjuration. Summon Darvos. Oh, no. Nope. He's just a cool fucking badass. The mace. Hell yeah. I wonder if I can use uh what's it called the uh this one 
a Canto's recital. So I wonder if I can... It says store up to three spells. Can I summon three dudes? I wonder. Like, every time I get into combat, Darvos is at my fucking side. That could be interesting. Because I wonder what spell... I can't remember what spells I have on. I know I have Stone Flesh... And Troll's Blood. But I don't remember the third one. Anyway, I'll have to check that out in between episodes. But that could certainly be a cool... Cool build to have. Let me level up here. Put that into health, maybe? Yeah, just get it to 200. I have three perk points. Now let's see here. Next on our objective... Ah, well, guess we're just gotta tail those people at night. I might, uh... I'll be honest, I might look that up in between episodes just so I don't waste my time on an escort mission or whatever. Because that would be... That would just be detrimental to my mental health. <laughs> With having to edit all that out and everything. Yeah, so I just gotta find these guys. I gotta follow this dude to the night nightcaller temple. And I guess I can't do that. Oh well. Oh yeah, this one too, huh? I wonder why these are here then, because I've Weird. Maybe that's why there's so many of them. Huh. I wonder if I did something that triggered that, or if that's just how it goes. You go kill the vampire, and then you go to collect the reward, and that's all you get. Interesting stuff. But, uh, yeah, next time we're gonna be checking out Dawnstar. It's gonna be a fun, fun time. I'll see you in the next one.